Hey everyone, Wags here from Eagle Dynamics, and in the open beta yesterday, we released updates to the fuse systems for the different bombs in the DCS Hornet, and this seemed to cause a little bit of confusion out there, so I want to make a little video to explain this. So, uh, here on our left DDI, we see we have a whole buffet of different bomb types. We have our Mark 82s, laser guided 83s, 84s, 83s, and canister munition, uh, CBU 99s in this case. So we'll go uh, AG Master Mode, and let's get rid of this big old 84 first. So we're going to keep the release mode CCIP. Now for the uh, M fuse and for all the uh, GP bombs, general purpose, 82s, 83s, 84s, we're going to always select those to nodes. And then for the E fuse, we'll set these to instantaneous. So that way, once the uh, crush fuse on the nose of the bomb hits, it'll instantaneously uh, detonate that bomb. So roll in and drop this bomb. One away. That's fine. Okay, let's go to the uh, 83 now. And same thing again. So M fused to nose, E fused to instantaneous. Bombs away. And that's all good. And finally for the GP bombs, we'll do a Mark 82. And once again, nose and instantaneous. Okay, so that's the uh, GP bombs. Let's go ahead and take a look at the other two, uh, cluster munitions and laser guided bombs. So uh, for CBU-99, we'll go ahead and select RET. We'll keep it in CCIP. Now for the uh, M fuse, we'll set it to a VT or variable timed. And coming down here to the height function, HT, we'll keep hitting this until we see 1500 on program one. Now for the E fuse, we're also going to set this to instantaneous, like a GP bombs. So that way, when the uh, variable time activates at 1500 feet, it will instantaneously go ahead and open that canister munition. And those look good. Now finally, let's take a look at the laser guided bombs. So we have uh, GB-16 loaded up. We'll select that. Now for the, I'm gonna, usually I do this in auto mode. I'm gonna keep it in CCIP in this case. Now for the M fuse, uh, we're not gonna have one, so we're gonna hit that to off. Now for the E fuse, we have two different options. We can use instantaneous, as we've been using earlier, or we can go delay one, which allow the uh, weapon to actually impact and penetrate uh, the target, the ground in this case, and then it'll explode. And we'll try that. And as you can see, uh, penetrated a little white puff, and then you had a detonation a little bit later. So that's a little look at setting up the fuses for the different uh, bomb types. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.